What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 BMW X2, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because there's actually a new appearance package for the 2023 model year. And we do happen to have that today, so we'll be getting to show that to you guys. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this is a BMW actually starting in the mid $30,000 range, which quite honestly is pretty exciting in itself. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering, throw ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are two different configurations for the 2023 BMW X2. First one being the S Drive 28i starting at $36,600. Then there is the X Drive 28i starting at 38,600. And by the way, the difference between those two, it's front wheel drive versus all wheel drive essentially. But regardless of which configuration that you go with, power plant is going to be the same. Powering the little beast is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1400 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.6 .6 seconds for the front wheel drive 6.3 seconds then for the all-wheel drive mpg numbers then coming in at 24 in the city 32 on the highway for the front wheel drive 24 city 31 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our x2 i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes, there is a drive mode kind of button located just to the left of the shifter that will include Eco Pro, Comfort and Sport, adjusting things like the shift points, throttle response, and the steering sensitivity then as well. And so now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the X2 here to the test. And by the way, we do have the X drive. So we do have that all wheel drive. So theoretically zero to 60 should be 6.3 seconds, but let's go ahead and put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new X2 here up to speed three two one go a little bit of turbo lag and 60 definitely more than enough to merge you onto the highway without a doubt but like i said at the very beginning there there was a little bit of turbo lag if i'm being honest but again having said that plenty of it acceleration with this thing but so anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so as expected you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard across the board as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at a very incredible 111 feet and braking feel is 100 on point by the way and i say an incredible 111 feet because it really is quite a good number as far as 60 to zero stopping distance goes 120s are typically what you get with SUVs, if not 130s. 111 is sport sedan good. So that is a heck of a braking statistic there for the X2 without a doubt. So you shouldn't have any issues there whatsoever. Then touching on suspension and handling, of course you will find an independent front and rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, gas pressurized shock absorbers. But I did want to also mention, there is an adaptive damping suspension that is available for an additional $500. That's one I typically like to recommend. Typically what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you the best of both worlds. So that's definitely one I personally would consider if I were getting the X2, but I did want to also mention though, the M Sport and Gold Play packages. By the way, the Gold Play package is the new one for 2023. And we'll get into more of that when we get into the X tier, but both of those packages will give you a sport tuned suspension and actually a lowered ride height as well. So a little bit sportier of a feel. And that is the configuration that we have today. So we do have a sport tuned suspension. And having said that, you do tend to feel a good bit more of the road. I will say that I've driven plenty of BMWs and typically they ride super smooth. And if you wanted that, you get the adaptive damping suspension essentially, because that's going to give you the ultimate smooth ride in the X2, but also give you better handling as well. But we don't have that today. So having said that, it, I am feeling a good bit more of the road than I otherwise would have. So I just want to put it that way. So our steering feel goes, it's brilliant. It's definitely on the heavier side of things. And because we have the gold play package, it's part of the M Sport package. I get these enhanced 10 and two grips on the steering wheel. So they're kind of massive comparatively speaking to other vehicles that I've been driving lately. So 
definitely a huge fan of these 10 and 2 grips. It gives the driver a better feeling of being in control, and it feels like I got better handling just because of the grips alone. So I'm a big fan of that. As far as cabin noise goes, that is pretty darn good. I will say I'm only going like 10 miles or 20 miles per hour right now, but as far as cabin noise goes, there isn't really anything coming into the cabin. There's not a whole lot of road noise. There's not a whole lot of wind noise. So quite honestly, it's pretty windy today. And this thing is doing pretty darn good. So it definitely, as far as cabin noise goes and insulation, it performs like a luxury vehicle when it comes to that, without a doubt. Then touching on visibility, this is one of the things, of course, where you're gonna get not as good as, let's say, an X1, just because of the shape of the back end there. So visibility, it's something that you get used to. I will say that, having driven cars like the Camaro and the 370Z, where visibility is absolutely horrendous, it's something that you do get used to, but Again, it's not going to be as good as the X1, but he did want to also mention rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come standard on the X2, so that's pretty cool. And there is a head up display available with the premium package, which you actually do have today. So, right now, I'm looking at my speed and speed limit projected onto the windshield, so that's going to better help me keep my eyes on the road. And also, it's going to display safety features on your windshield then as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new. 2023 BMW X2. All right, you guys, so here she is, the new 2023 BMW X2, finished in San Remo green, a very nice looking color, especially with our gold play accent package that we have here today. And by the way, the gold play special edition package goes for $4,350 if you were interested. It does add several things, including a sport tuned suspension, gold exterior accents, as you guys could probably see the very best on the wheels there shadow line exterior trim aka gloss black exterior trim m sport front fascia and styling you guys can see that up front 19 inch m specific alloys m sport seats m sport steering wheel and a heck of a lot more as well so really a good bit with that particular package that is new for 2023 but anyways let's go ahead and start now up front on the x2 here again san remo green is the exterior color name that we have here bmw active kidney front grille is going to come standard across the board you will get some aluminum trim surrounding that front grille and on the front lip as well if you do not go with the m sport or this gold play special edition package that we have today because otherwise you're going to get gloss black accents around that front grille as you guys are currently looking at right now front air curtains down to the side helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics to the sides then led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights of course you get the automatic feature as well and actually those headlights do come with the cornering function as well meaning when you're going around a bend at night they are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or possum or squirrel or whatever the case so really a safety feature in itself but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the x2 all right so but now since we are around to the side first thing i want to mention when it comes to the side profile you can get roof rails there are satin aluminum roof rails available for an additional 250 dollars if you wanted to go that route just wanted to make you guys aware that they are available but regarding the window surrounds they are going to be finished in either a satin aluminum or a gloss black dependent upon the configuration that you go with of course bmw logo found on that c pillar it's one of the most distinctive design elements of the x2 specifically and definitely a design element that i personally love then if you take a look at the front fenders you're going to find a little bit of m badging which can be had with the m sport package or the gold play package of course and that's why we have it here today so pretty cool as well matte black side skirts are going to be the standard configuration however if you go with that m sport or gold play packages you will get body colored side skirts and they look pretty darn good in my personal opinion also body colored fender surrounds as well otherwise they're going to be matte black for the standard configuration then take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals then as well then take a look down at the wheel setup there are several different configurations of course 18 inch y spoke alloys are going to come standard 19 inch double five spoke alloys coming with the m sport and then 19 inch arrow wheels with gold accents it's what you guys are currently looking at of course coming with the gold play package so pretty much rounds out the side profile very good looking yet again and now let's go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back all the way to the top you will find a 
body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that rear window wiper. Gosh darn, I love this exterior color in the sun right now. It's looking so darn good. I can't get over it. But anyways, LED taillights do come standard as well. You do have the X drive badging if the particular X2 that you go with is equipped, of course. Just below it all, you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. However, if you were to go with the M Sport or Gold Play packages, you will get black exhaust outlets. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. It's open now since we are around to the back of the X2. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate and a hands-free tailgate as well. So there is a button on the key fob itself. Again, it's hands-free and power tailgate. There's also a button on the driver's side door, but my favorite way to open the tailgate is the hidden way through the BMW logo on the tailgate itself. You simply just press in on the upper portion and it is gonna automatically open up for you. So that is the way I personally would always open this thing up. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 21.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, those rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 50.1 cubic feet, but quite a bit going on in the cargo area. Pretty much everything you could possibly want. Of course, you have cargo lighting. There is some netted storage found on the sides. There is a 12 volt power outlet. There are some cargo tie down anchors. There's grocery bag hooks. There's a cargo cover. And my very favorite part, if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're going to find a very impressive amount of in-floor storage. And so you're either typically going to find a spare tire under there or in-floor storage. In this case, it's in-floor storage and it is a ton of it, more so than you typically find on all the other vehicles that I typically test. So I was definitely a big fan of that. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 36.7 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. You will find rear ventilation coming standard back there as well. And a couple of phone charging ports then to go along with all of that. But then make our way up to the front seats. Eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard with two-way power side bolsters definitely held me in place very nicely around the turns in this thing and lumbar support as well and that was very adjustable as well by the way so easily able to find my perfect driving position as far as the finishes go sense attack upholstery is going to come standard however dakota leather is going to come standard and black on the m sport and gold play packages and then if you wanted a different color it is a 1450 dollar option if you wanted to go that route but having said that I think specifically for the gold play package, I love the gold accents on the seats and even more so, I love that they're one piece as opposed to the separate headrest at the top. Typically, you always find that, but the one piece design, it's so much sportier. The seats themselves are very comfortable, especially because of the power side bolsters. And overall, I think they just look dang good as well. But then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping, of course. And this specifically that we have today is the M Sport steering wheel, hence the little M logo at the bottom portion. That's gonna come with the M Sport package and the Gold Play packages. And that's gonna come with enhanced 10 and two grips. So it's gonna be a little thicker and all the steering wheels are gonna be wrapped in leather so you do have that for you as well but then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your m sport colors on the one side and essentially all of your buttons that were going to be located on one side of the key you got lock unlock that button to pop the rear tailgate there and by the way the lock button is the bmw logo in the middle but ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee then and so once started up speedometer is on your left tachometer is on on your right and there is a very small digital display front and center all the way to the bottom giving you essentially everything that you need like outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's trip a trip b pretty much like i said all the standard information you could probably want on that digital portion of the gauges there but so then making our way to overall interior quality there is a power moonroof that does come standard on the x2 however 
there is a panoramic moonroof that comes with the convenience and premium packages. And so therefore, since we have the premium package, we got that today. So that's pretty cool. Anthracite headliner is going to come standard. Home light controls for up to three different garage doors can be found just underneath of that rear view mirror there. So I always love that. Dual zone climate control so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures. That does come standard. Ambient lighting coming with the convenience and premium packages. That is going to be there for you as well. And I'll, I'll see if I can pull into a shaded area here to show you guys so always love the ambient lighting in mercedes and bmw specifically they always do a very good job with that wireless phone charger goes for 500 if you wanted that that's going to be found just underneath of the center armrest there actually overall i love the design and the gold accents that we have since we have the gold play package so you have gold contrast stitching not only found on the seats of course but also on the doors just above the passenger side glove box there's also some gold accents just above those gold accents on the passenger side glove box so that's a pretty cool look as well just in front of the shifter you have a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port little bit of storage dual cup holders just behind the shifter you have an electromechanical parking brake of course your wireless phone charger and a little bit of storage just underneath of all of that with another phone charging port available there as well and by the way the center armrest is adjustable you can kind of lock it in a upward tilting position or downward tilting position or level whatever you want to do so i wanted to mention that too but anyways let's make our way to the infotainment screen here there is an 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display coming standard and by the way it is touchscreen but there is also a circular dial and buttons located just behind the shifter personally if you were driving I would use the circular dial and buttons because it is a little bit of a reach then when you're parked You can use the touch screen because it's probably a little bit easier that way in the end But ultimately Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay as well Factory navigation system actually comes standard across the board as well So that's always nice to see weather information you can find up there and of course your radio information And so when it comes to the sound system here on the X2 you will find a standard 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts so Having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Incredible amount of bass. I gotta say, typically with Christian Contemporary, you don't have that much bass, but this X2 did a wonderful job with the bass. That was certainly on point. Plenty of clarity, really, with 10 speakers and the sides of the X2. You certainly are not gonna go wrong with that sound system. But, anyways, last thing I wanna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, of course is when you do put this thing in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so front side side current airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard frontal collision warning system lane departure warning speed limit recognition and front and rear parking sensors as well in addition to that there is an adaptive cruise control system with stop and go that goes for a thousand dollars if you wanted to go that route there's also a parking assistant kind of feature that goes for two hundred dollars where the vehicle parks itself just in case you wanted that but ultimately when it comes to my final thoughts here of the x2 the driving dynamics are really what makes this thing absolutely amazing it comes to the acceleration the braking in 60 0 and 111 feet is absolutely wonderful the handling or maybe it's just the steering feel that is absolutely brilliant as well so overall driving dynamics are pretty much on point bmw logo on the c pillar i think is one of the coolest design elements on the x2 because the other bmws don't have that the x1 doesn't have that the x3 doesn't have it and so on so definitely like that little design element there i do like the new gold play package it's tempting for me to not call it the gold pony package because it's you know gp so i really want to call it that as so i like the gold pony package i think that's pretty cool as far as room for improvement goes i think heated seats should probably come standard on this particular bmw it is available as an option but it doesn't come standard unfortunately and the ride quality with the uh, sport tuned suspension that we have here today you do tend to feel a little bit more off the road however that can be counterbalanced if you were to simply go with the adaptive damping suspension that's available for $500 so that's my final thoughts let me know what you guys think of the new 2023 x2 in the comment section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in any new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold I like to love you night and day
ಆನೆ ನೇ ನೇ 